replaced by messaging as the number one use case. And so you know, that's the reason why we saw this, this you know, large market opportunity of anyone who's in a non-farm uh, household in a urban or very urban area who has access to a connect to a device is our target user group. So we see you know, over 300 million people who we think can, can, uh, can benefit from this platform. And we've just reached about 7 million now. So we still have a long way to go. But uh, uh, this is really an opportunity we see. And so uh, now, you know, to, to, to describe the, the problem for the person seeking the job and the, pro the problem for the person looking for the job, uh, I'll go to the solution that we found. We, we thought it was quite different from other solutions. And this is a, a solution uh, a product that we call, it's called Rapid Hire. Um, and I'll go through how it works. So, so we basically find out about all the available jobs that are out there in a particular area by using, you know, by people, let's say you're looking for someone, you, you go onto the internet, you search, land on our site, you, will put, you can post a job with your requirements and go into our database. You can also remember they also call, speak to one of our agents uh, and tell them about who you're looking to hire. That also goes into our database. That's the, that's the, all the vacancies, right? And after people seeking jobs, you know, either through one of our telephone partnerships, through various partnerships, or just coming directly to our website, or our mobile website, or our RDR channel, you can um, sign up on our service, and that information also goes into our engine, right? And says, okay, this is the profile of this person. Now that all gets into our database matching engine, and then we send out, you know, matching SMSs to people, describing the available requirements, you know, and if you're on the, if you, if you don't, uh, if you aren't able to read English because the local language SMS is still very difficult to deliver, you can use our new voice system, which is now present in six languages, and you can hear about job opportunities and sign up in your local language. Um, and then you also, of course, can use our mobile app and now our Android or Nokia app that we have that lets you kind of search for jobs on your own phone. So this is the, the solution that we call that. And, um, and, and this kind of summarizes the, the, the interfaces and as we go along, we keep adding new ones like we're about to next week launch one, uh, we're launching one new jo uh, job seeker app next week and we're also launching a, a chat box. So just uh, simply the same way most people use like a WhatsApp message or a Facebook messenger, we've created an automated chat box that asks you about what type of job you're looking for and builds your profile on how job. Uh, through a set of chat interactions. Um, and that also right now will first be in English and then we'll start as the local language support and all so we'll add it to several um, other languages. I think that's basically it in terms of the, you know, what I wanted to share about how our job works and then just leave open to you know, any questions. But we really have to catch up on time. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, if there are any questions, maybe uh, we have time to two sure. questions, and then we can go for a break and come back uh, by about 4.20 and continue the rest of the workshop. Are there any questions? Uh, you mentioned the last five different interfaces yeah. for different, different types of platforms. Why did we unify all those interfaces? Like, maybe a response and layout like how Android has, particular layout? Yeah, no, it, it is responsive. Like when we come to the mobile and the web, but we still kind of differentiate our certain features we support on certain platforms. Like we found actually the local language, for example, usage was far less on desktop web uh, than on mobile. Web. So we focus on the local language. Yeah, so it, it is responsive, but we still uh, it is, and they all we have common services, but they all but they are these different interfaces like the IBR, which is still very different from the, like the mobile web, for example. But yeah, on desktop and mobile web, it is responsive. Who are your public interests in the online space? Well, in the online space, like the online space. Right, I mean, we obviously have our, uh, so we have a few different types of competitors. Some are direct competitors that are just, you know, there's one, the Mahindra Group has a company called Salam Rosgar. There's a newer startup out of IT company called uh, Asan Jobs. Um, and then, then you have the bigger classified websites like 
uh, one called OLX, which has a job section, one called Quicker, which has a job section. Those are kind of the main competitors that we see, and the big classified sites. Um, and some of the, the newspaper sites have jobs, but they're not yet targeted on blue collar. Like the Times jobs is there, um, and things like that. But they're more focused on blue kind of jobs. Times nowadays, no people are available. Yeah. Uh, I want a, uh, on my factory, I want a, some builder or an engineer to do model. Last three or four years or over, I am not getting a single person. Very good one. Well, uh, like, I can put out the left smile with a uh, guy like me. Huh. All the advertisement is there. We want engineers, we want people uh, models, we want the sales. But nobody is asking for the, I want a job. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't think. They don't think. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very simple. See, times now has moved from one level of the I have seen. Yes, times, I have seen. 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 Yes, exactly. Like this, our average school job is a challenge. Is a ten to pass. We have to work together. You know, so in the future, I don't know. You are doing your target and that class of customers. Yes. But uh, getting that people is. No, how do they respond? Basically, yeah. how, how do they respond to this? I mean, this class. How do you get them to idea to respond? So, so we, we, we most a lot of our response happens either you respond in the whichever interface you're using. If you're using mobile web, you can respond there. But you also can respond by a missed call. So let's say if you post an ad for driver via Alka, then we assign a unique phone number to that ad. And we, when the SMS goes, then you all you give a missed call on that number. You know they're going to find for that job, and then the IDR system calls them back and does a screening to check. You can say, okay, I want someone that's, that speaks um, Canada and English um, and, and who has two years experience and lives within five kilometers of Yolanda, for example. And I guess people do that screening and then allow those people to connect straight with you on the phone. I'll just give you a small, small uh, sure. an idea. You will symbolize the jobs. Driver, janitor, houseman, it should be in symbol. Yeah. Make one simple, manual man, piece by class or if he or she is interested, they punch that. You know which area it is. 50% of your idea is only small. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. here, what is happening, he precisely knows that this job is for a driver. He is going to go there and he is going to see the map. I mean, yeah. literacy now, of course, the level of literacy that has crept in and the tech savviness yes. of these people is, 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 is a bit low, yeah. but they need the phone for something else. Yeah. Okay. But to come to an app, go there and access it, it is a bit of a difficult use thing, but we need to call a simple basis. Yeah, you know, we, we, we do use some of, 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 of symbols and some of the classes. Yeah, it's very simple. We find it rather than design this thing. One car and one guy can do the app. These design people can demand it design symbols. And you cross-check it with the people. You know, what do they assume? Yeah, no, I, I agree. We had done some work around that. We had created one of the basic symbols. If you have, give me just one minute, one example I would like to say to all this. I did one interesting study. I took seven snapshots of a airplane safety car. Okay. And I ran a small test. I spoke to the everybody. The answers I have.
to this in the analytics group. Yes, what are the patterns that you find from your analysis of who's applying for that? Well, there's so many. There's so many. I mean, I had a couple of slides on that. We have a minute. I can I can I can Yeah. But uh, we, we, have, we have done some analysis of some of these. Well, uh, I mean, you want to share a second? Or, yeah, or I can show you some of that. Because yeah. there's a lot, of, depending on the questions you ask, you can, you know, there's, there's so much different analysis on all kinds of things about, you know, from when people apply, how many jobs they apply, do they apply in that category. There's, there's, there's a lot of interesting data points. I can share. So what I'm saying is we can go yeah. for the break yeah. and then come yeah. back yeah. on the other yeah. 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 Okay.